Hey everybody, what's going on? Shabby Do here, and today on this Saturday sneak peek, we are taking a look at our Shabby experience with Ancestors, the Human Kind Odyssey. Now, we're going to jump right in here, but it's going to look like I know a little bit more than I should, and that's because I recorded the whole first 40 minutes of this video, and for some reason my OBS had a bit rate of like 2400, and when you're recording in 1440p quality at two megabytes uh yeah it does nothing the whole thing skipped every like three seconds it was ridiculous so obviously i deleted that and we're gonna redo this so we're gonna hit new lineage uh save over what i just did and we're gonna jump into this together and see if this is something you guys want to see more of in the coming days now obviously with uh founder's fortune uh the full the 1.0 game actually just released on the 18th we'll talk about that more on tuesday together and but this isn't going to replace that if you guys do want to see more of this this is just going to be something in tandem so like might drop an episode here or there on top of the founder's fortune as well as maybe over the weekends or something just while we keep going or maybe after founder's fortune just kind of depends on what the hype is so let me know down below what you think of this and if you want to see more now we're going to skip the opening cutscene. it is kind of long uh if you do own the game or you do play it watch it it's beautiful so what happens basically is the mother of this child father i wasn't really too sure uh gets picked up by a bird killed by said bird and then the baby falls in so now we just got to follow the little tutorial here so it's telling me to you know use my intelligence to identify this oh it's a hiding spot let's get over there so let's get our little monkey friend over here now you can see like little fangs coming up it's because it's like the fear of the unknown it kind of reminds me of sanity within green hell so yeah, but like I said, I'll know a little bit about this only because I played 40 minutes and it just looked like crap. So we're going to redo it. And I've already done plenty of tests, so I know this one's not going to look like crap. All right, so new objective. Find the lost child of your clan now. Yep. I'm just waiting for like these tips to go away. So dismiss these. Dismiss. I was wondering what it was saying. It's like I could hold the up key. Yeah, there we go. So literally up. The keys on keyboard are whack. It tells you it's best played with a controller. Yeah, I guess so. Because the key, the keyboard keys are out of control. They're all over the place. All right. So if I press Q for my sense of hearing, I can see that little ripple down there. That means there's someone from the clan there. Oh, yeah, you thought something crazy was going to happen there, didn't you? I mean, someone from the clan's down there, and in this sense, it's our baby. Oops, something crazy might happen here, though. All right, so we're just going to keep jumping tree to tree, get on the ground here. All right, and here's our little buddy. All right, now we're going to comfort him. It's okay, little guy got you there we go so we've got our little friend back here now he's gonna jump on our back and with this you know now the new objective join our clan join your clan in the settlement so with the kid on our back as we find things in the world like this stick here we don't know what it is so we're going to inspect it so you know we can see that black stuff around here i'm gonna recognize that as like the fear of the unknown because once we inspect it that disappears so now i know this is a dead branch now, why you want to keep a kid with you is because you get what's called more neurons from investigating things when you have a child with you to learn it as it goes. So you always want to have a baby with you. I'm going to pick up this. We're going to inspect this as well. It's like, what do we got? Some berries here? Yep. So then you figure out what everything does as well by, of course, eating it. So we don't know what a Tommy berry is going to do, so we got to eat it. And let's see. So... So we uh, assimilated nutrients from the berry kind of food. Didn't really seem to do anything for us. Maybe it just makes us healthier. Maybe this one doesn't have a buff. All right. Yeah, some foods have buffs to them and whatnot. So then also we can use our intelligence to... Sorry, not that one. Yep. There we go. To scan around here. 
and see what's going on. So like, what's this here? Oh, I don't know. So memorize it. We can go over to that and check it out. And here's like another little item so we can inspect this. And it doesn't let you do anything with an item until you've inspected it too, so. so we found a new food item. Cot. So let's uh, eat this up. Eat it. There we go. So this gave us a buff. So that gave me... You can see it's like a light blue color. So that's like a, a, a buff right there to prevent that first one's broken bones. The second one I'm assuming is cold. I didn't see like any means with it. So like, yeah, if we fall from too high, we will break our bones. Still picking. Okay, there we go. All right, so. Oh, you know, there's a little coconut tree here. So yeah, a lot of this stuff is about, especially in the beginning, it's about exploring and figuring out all the different items. Like, I don't even know what fresh water is. Now I do. So, you know, I come up to it and drink it. That's how we're going to stay hydrated. Come down here. Well, we got some rocks right here. Did I pick that up? Nope. We got coconuts up here? Of course we do. See, we can grab a coconut. I'll bring that back with me, too. Wrong button. Hold it. Inspect it. Like, hmm, yes, it is a uh, coca's. So, there we go. So I'm going to bring that back. We're going to go continue on with our little quest here to bring our little baby back to the clan. Ooh, come on. Keep going. Check it out later. Boo -doo -boo -boo. All right, so we're up here now. We're back with the clan. Oh, no, don't do that. Okay, so now a little cutscene. It's just, we'll skip it. Skip a couple of the beginning stuff here. It's just them reuniting. It's like, oh, the baby's back. And then, like, the, the mom gets sad because dad's dead. Or vice versa. Dad's sad because mom's dead. So it's just going to tell us about our vitality and whatnot and our health. And then it wants us to build. So stop moving to see all contextual actions they offer. They vary. I'll pick this thing up here. So the first thing it kind of teaches us, you know, it's telling us to inspect everything. So, you know, I discovered a new tool. So apparently this is a tool. If I drop it on the ground, then it's like, hey, stockpiles. When discovered, you can drop items in a stockpile with identical items. So it's like, okay, there's your hint to uh, put more together. Oh, button. I missed this one. Add it to the stockpile. Construction, yep, once... It says the same thing. Once you add enough to a stockpile, you might be able to construct. And it's like, oh, look. You can construct stuff here. So it's like, okay. Now we go in. Hit the build button a few times. And we've built our little sleep spot. So if we hit Z to lie down. We can drop our child off. We don't want to do that. We want to keep that baby with us. And this is where we grow our tiny little primate bra brain. So it's just basically telling us, like, when we get Neurons, we can unlock these as we figure the skills out as we go. Back out of here. Alright, so, new objective, form a couple. Um, I need a Lady Monkey, or Lady Primate, sorry. Ooh, hello. Uh, analyze. You are a female. Okay. A uh, Groom. A little mini game. When you hear that sound and the screen turns green, you let go of the right click button. All right, that was easy. Identify the jungle. So, um, this. Oh, this right here. Oh, that's a uh, that's that. Um. Maybe I gotta get up top and look down on us. Let's climb up and uh, identify the jungle's hidden oasis. 
hidden waterfall oasis, which is where we are, so I don't really get this quest too much. It's an odd one. I think I just have to look down on it. I climbed all the way to the top of the waterfall last time in my in the video that had a terrible bitrate, so you could not watch it. Just unwatchable. Like, stuck on the wall here. And it, there was a ceiling. An invisible ceiling, so I couldn't actually get higher. And then I fell, I hurt myself, broke my legs pretty severely. And then I was, I looked down and identified the oasis. So I was like, okay, that was nice. So... Uh, Again, nothing like that's the bees. Oh wait, X? Nope. Maybe I need to get a little higher. I don't. Oh, that's fruit. Yeah. This one threw me a loop last time. It, I got it by pure luck, so let's just do what I did before. I thought I had to, like, check out the actual waterfall here, but... Just climb up over here. We'll stand on it and look down again. See if that works. Second time. Jump and then hold space to grab the foliage or creepers when passing through it. Trunks, branches, and walk walls. Yeah, so I fell, like, onto this thing. Oh, so it was that thing that I marked before. Maybe I could have got it. I guess I marked it too early. And it just coincidentally happened to be this thing. So it's just going to show us a nice little preview of the area, which we're, we've got a better view from up here. And then it kind of spawns us this way. Come on. A little meteorite fell out of the sky and landed over there, so it wants us to go inspect it. So, but first, I want to come down here. Am I going to hurt myself with that? Nope. So once I, I, I found our little buddy here, this is where they died in the cutscene. And once I land on this, the bird's going to attack me and I got to dodge its attack or get hit by it. Maybe not. Was that just lucky last time? All right, analyze clan member. So you can get some neuronal energy for that. Oh, Oop. oh, it got me that time. Yep. It definitely can hit you. All right. So now I'm bleeding. So I got to go find a thing that makes it so I stop bleeding. But while I'm here, let's inspect this egg. I'm not going to eat it. I know. It, this thing's raw. I didn't I didn't eat it in the last playthrough, but it's a raw egg. I, I, I doubt I can eat that. So, oh, here it is. So let me jump onto this. Okay. Let me grab that. Come up here. So this is like a fibrous plant. This is what prevents you from prevents you from bleeding or cures bleeding at least i hope it cures it i know it prevents it i don't know if it actually cures so let's apply this and see what happens to our little bleed debuff down there oh good it did go away oh there's a different fruit here something to eat yeah that looks edible All right, let's eat that up so we can see what we get out of this. There we go. So we assimilated those nutrients. Let's get a high ground here. So the meteorite fell there. There's some trees this way I can grab onto. It's a different bird nest. All right, all right. We 
we go. So there's some branches below me I know I can jump on to. Right here. Uh, don't miss. All right. Woo. That would have been a big drop if I missed that. So yeah, the safest thing I feel is we're monkeys or we're primates of some sort, you know? Stay in the trees. <laughs> the ground's just going to have all sorts of dangerous... Or, well, I expect there to be dangerous predators. Not up there. How do I get up? Ugh. There we go. This. Oh, this is just more of the, uh... Bird. I swing here. Yes, I can hit this tree. Starting to see more things. I did not come this way. I did that whole beginning part a little slow last time. And you know what? I'm kind of glad the video was garbage because um, uh, it's the beginning. You know, we don't need to see a lot of it. You know, get the brief understanding here. You know, go do a little bit of exploring. I'm going to apply this just to give myself the buff of preventative beating. All right. Having used book fibers properties by application at least twice. Oh, cool. All right, we're getting close to this. Spell, maybe. I didn't realize how high up we were. Look how cool this is. Right there, there's a tree here I can land on. Here. Missed. Ah, see. So fear the unknown. Use your senses and intelligence to identify what's around you. Then you'll see the light. Okay. Alright. A bunch of things I don't know, apparently. is needed to avoid hysteria when in fear. Okay, so I found a rock. So it seemed that made it lighter around here once I found the rock. What's this? I don't know what that is. Let's go check that out then. Drop this rock. Oh my god. Big old crocodile. What the hell is that thing? No, get get off get off my screen. What's that really bright ball? I can't move up this. Below me. I can't see it, but I'm not going down there. Uh oh, I went down there. Uh. Uh, I can't see anything. You're in panic and losing control. Oh. Yeah, I got it. Those tutorials are worse than the monsters. Took up my screen so I couldn't even see what was happening. Alright, so now I've got a broken bone and low dopamine. Alright, let's chill for a second here. Let's climb up this tree. Now, see, I don't want to be on the ground here. Christ. Right, yeah, so I've got a broken bone. Probably prevented the bleeding by eating that stuff earlier, so that was good. 
Um, I don't remember. Got some things in the unknown still here. What the? Oh, I'm... I must have, like, lost my whole sanity there. Everything just went crazy for a second. I was not in control there. Edelgrass. Like, maybe this is how I get unscared of the area. Hiding spot. Triangle. That's good. Oh, nice. It tells you what they do. Like, yeah, Catholic Fibers. Stuff out there I don't know about. This is going to be the meteorite. Oh, hey, look, a crocodile. Yeah, not friendly. Thanks. Something unknown, the rocks. All right, let's... Alright, our dopamine's low. I'm gonna just go check out what's... <laughs> I don't... I'm thinking maybe we shouldn't be over here this early yet. Oh my god, there's a warthog. Let's go. What is that blue ball? Oh my god, now there's a jaguar here? Okay, can you get your useless tips away from the fight? Yeah, see, I can dodge you much better when I can see what's happening here. All right, all right, come on, jump off. Need to get up in this tree. Oh man, what a wild ride this this was. Uh-oh. I'm tired. Still got my baby. I have to get to the top of the tree. Yeah, I've got broken bones. I'm bleeding. Out of stamina. Alright. Sit for a second. <gasps> no! I pressed this freaking button. Alright, alright, we're good. We're good. Let's go home. Let's go home. Alright, I need to heal up. So, I think this was the stuff that helped with the broken bones, right? Yep. Slowly going down. All right, now let's go find something up there I don't know about. Is that my settlement? Yeah. Get memorized there real quick. Someone up there. Hiding spot. All right, let's let's get the f out of here. A few of these just to get my broken bones better. Or not get them better, but to make the buff higher. All right, let's let's get back to camp and actually do some evolution before we move on. What is that? Am I tired? I need some of that. Uh, some of those fibrous fruits I found in the trees. It might be too high for me to see right now. Let's just head back towards towards home. And I can see that bleed is not going down. So that must be a permanent thing. So I'm thinking if I don't find some of those fibers, this monkey will die. 
But obviously, the downside to a monkey dying is that. Oh, is that one right there? I found one. Now, let me scan this thing first. Yeah. So obviously, the downside to a monkey dying is I don't think it's not a game over. At least not in this mode. It would just mean I have one less monkey in the in the colony, and I have to. Uh, it would switch me over to someone else. So, that's you know you can say that's it. All right, latch on here. All right, let's get the hell out of here and go home. Ooh, there's a warthog right there. Okay. That is some dangerous thing. Oh, oh, a snake! What the? By eating rotten or green food, da, 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 find something with medicinal properties. I have, I don't know anything with medicinal properties. This monkey is probably boned. All right, this is what I get for. Yeah, and I, I said it earlier. Be in the trees. Yeah, let's listen to myself here. I have ran into that snake up here. All right, yeah, we're just going to get our stupid selves home. Oh, so I got food poisoning maybe now too? Jeez. This is a one hurt monkey. Having a hard time seeing... This fuzziness is is not quality. This is the actual game because of my poisoning and whatever that sickness I got from eating that berry. Alright, my colony's down here, right? Jeez, I can't even tell now. Yeah, is that the colony? Yeah, that's the colony. I haven't found anything that has uh, poison cure po properties, so I'll have to figure that out. It's not permanent, though. Like, it's not that dark red color, so I can get rid of it over time. It's going to really affect this monkey. Alright, jeez, we made it home. That was nuts. That adventure was crazy. I, I did not go out there the first time, and boy, were we wildly unprepared to make our way that way. So we're going to hang out around here and do some more uh, neural activity, do some more investigation, as well as... Here, let's lay down here for a second. I'm going to drop that. Alright, let's lie down in the new bed and check out the evolution here, and then we're going to call it a day. So with this, we got we can initiate this side over here so we learn motor skills so we can switch hands. And I'll actually show you why that's so cool after. So memory, the range of your detection of non-edible foods is increased. Oh cool. Alright, so we're just gonna I'm just gonna close out of this. And really funky buttons. Alright. So what's cool now, now that we can swap hands, we can actually start some different types of crafting. So for instance, if I grab a stick, I swap hands, I can now alter that stick. Jesus, these tutorials are more annoying than anything. What awful placement. All right, now, same mini game. So now I just turned that into a stripling. So now if I switch hands again, inspect it. I discovered a new tool. Now I have a stick. Now if I swap hands, can I alter it again? Yeah, but can I do it with my hands? See, I'm not getting that green bar nor the sound, so the alteration's not doing anything. What if I grab, like, this piece of obsidian over here? Oh, I haven't inspected this yet, either. Grab that, we'll inspect it. Now, 
an altar. I should have probably switched monkeys, but whatever. This is just a first look to see what you guys think. And I want to show you crafting. Here we go. So now, you know, hitting an obsidian can alter a stick. If I swap hands here. Drop that. Pick it up, and now inspect. So we discovered another new tool. So now we have a sharpened stick. So there could be other alterations done to it. I don't know what else yet. That was as far as I got when I got in the last one. So, you know, drop that. If I... You now let's give it a... Everything around here a quick inspect. So it's like, you know, here's our sharpened stick. Down here. Sleep spot. Over there. Natal grass. So, you know, just what you have to do. Inspect everything. Put everything in your mouth. Start testing things by crafting them. Let's groom Excellent, let go. Couple formed. Does that mean I have, I'm a couple with two people now? And curious to see. But, alright guys, I think that's going to be it there. Let me know what you guys think. Honestly, that got a little crazy when we tried to get over to that meteorite. So, definitely need to... Uh, do a little bit more before we head over there but let me know down below with some comments hit like as well if you are liking the series and you want to see more of it leave me comments let me know what you think again not going to take place a founder's fortune something maybe do like an episode or two here or there during the week or just on the weekends but all right guys like i said let me know down below don't forget to hit subscribe as well to get that sweet daily content at 9 15 eastern every single day and other than that hope you all have a great rest of the day